गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग यू गेस इट राइट फ्रॉम द टाइटल वी आर बिल्डिंग अ पीसी फाइनली फॉर माय वीडियो एडिटिंग एज वेल एज गेमिंग नीड्स एंड इफ यू आर लुकिंग टू बाय अ न्यू पीसी और रादर बिल्ड योर ओन पीसी आई रेकमेंड यू वॉच फुल वीडियोज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ऑन माई चैनल एंड यू नो वॉट टू डू इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल हिट दर सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड डू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू फाइंड इट हेल्पफुल सो टूडेज टॉपिक आई हैव चोजन इज डिसाइडिंग द पावर सप्लाई सो इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग योर ओन न्यू पी power supply is really important if you want other components to work very flawlessly and if you want your pc to run very smoothly power supply determines everything so how to choose power supply that's really important now there are so many power supplies in the market so many brands have become depending on your budget depending on the type of components you are choosing you need to buy a power supply so i would say that there are three things to consider before you buy a new power supply for your uh, new pc so the first thing is determining the wattage so how much watts of power supply is uh, going to need for your pc build now i'll leave a link in the description section of this video you can uh, actually go check there visit that website and decide on your pc components the rest pc components for example the processor the ram what uh, hard disks you are going to use if there are more mechanical hard drives obviously your power supply needs more uh, uh, more wattage so depending on your pc components the website will help you determine the wattage so at the end if you just keep on going adding your components that you have already decided at the end of that if you just click on calculate it will show you the power wattage now based on that number for example say that it is showing you around the 380 watts so i recommend you here buying a 450 watts of power supply not less than 450 watts i'll tell you why see you might have heard the blue screen of deaths you might have faced it a lot of time i'm sure or be it your system hanging a lot of times or you might have faced some sudden outrage in the power of your pc so all these causes are due to the lack of efficient power supply so this is really important in deciding a quality power supply and your pc components will be really happy that you have bought a sufficient power supply for it so that's the thing you need to keep in mind say it is showing you around 450 watts of power supply is needed for your pc then i would recommend you buying a 550 watts to 600 or rather 650 watts of power supply even if you decide on upgrading your pc components late, later uh, you will have a very efficient power supply running for a longer period of time so that's the first key thing that you need you need to decide is the power wattage requirement so i'll leave a link in the description section like i said so just click on that enter your pc components and the number will pop up there and depending on that number you can uh, decide your power supply wattage the second thing here to consider is either you need to buy a modular power supply or non modular power supply so what is a modular power supply modular in the sense as the name suggests so only those components that you are trying to connect inside your pc only those cables you are going to connect to the power supply so that way your cable management will be really good and that will your case will look really nice and there will be no unwanted cables inside your pc so that makes your pc look really good and you will be very proud to look at your very shiny looking new pc but if you buy non modular power supply unwanted power cables for example say that some cables are not required to connect to your pc components and those cable will be left as it is so that's the only thing that differs with the modular as well as non modular power supplies so either way so i would suggest you buy a modular power supply that will help you in longer term the third key thing here is the different companies offers a different kind of features so there is a rating that they have made 80 plus bronze 80 plus silver 80 plus white 80 plus platinum so if your budget is unlimited obviously you'll go and buy the 80 plus gold or 80 plus platinum power supply uh, basically it's more power efficient it doesn't take unwanted powers so it doesn't utilize unwanted power saving you little bit of power bills current bills or whatever you say so that's the thing that happens there and there are some power supplies uh, such as from the cooler masters master bat lineup and what they have done is they have uh, given a semi fanless design that means if the cpu load is less than 15% it will work at 0 decibels that means the fan itself won't run and uh, thereby saving you a little bit of uh, energy there so that's a nice trick that they have uh, applied there so your uh, pc will be running very smoothly very quiet so that's the kind of features other brands offer even the corsair power supplies are uh, very reliable as well so it all depends on the quality components what they have used inside a power supply so based on all these factors you need to buy a 
proper power supply for your new shining PC. So hopefully this video gave you some insight, some information about choosing a power supply if yes, please hit that like button and of course like I said we'll be building a complete PC which is coming soon on this channel. I will also be making other videos on deciding RAM, what RAM is necessary for your PC and what processor either to go for Intel or to go for AMD processor, so all sorts of that. I know this is a very new thing to this channel because I've been making mobile related videos all these days. Uh, now I'm uh, also building a PC. You'll be watching in my channel if you stay subscribed. Hit that like button, share with your friends so that others know uh, what power supply they have to choose for their PCs. Alright, see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.